Japan's Land and Infrastructure Ministry estimates that public spending on the reconstruction of northeast Japan will total about $50 billion in the fiscal year that ends next March. The area was damaged by the powerful earthquake and tsunami in March 2011. The ministry calculated spending on construction of roads, buildings and ports in disaster-hit areas and the ensuing ripple effect. It says spending by the central government and local municipalities will total more than $52 billion. This is 2.8 times the figure for the previous year. The ministry says orders in the construction industry could create new demand in related sectors, including iron and steel producers and transport companies. It also says the spending is likely to push up GDP for this fiscal year by more than 1% and create about 500,000 new jobs. The Japanese government has adopted a five-year plan for intensive disaster reconstruction until fiscal 2015. Fishermen unloaded the first catch at the port of Matsukawa Ura in the municipality of Soma. Mayor Hidekiyo Tachiya and members of the fishing industry gathered at the wharf and ate samples. They also inspected a facility created to test marine products for radiation. The mayor says his city will let the whole nation know seafood from Fukushima is safe. Participants received a lunchbox containing nine items, including the octopus and jellyfish that's now back on supermarket shelves. Seafood caught off Fukushima Prefecture hit the shelves for the first time since last year's nuclear accident. Local fishermen tested three types of seafood last week and found no radioactive materials. Local fishermen tested three types of seafood last week and found no radioactive materials. Supermarkets in the cities of Soma and Fukushima are selling octopus and shellfish. Retail prices were set about 30% lower than before the accident. Retail prices were set about 30% lower than before the accident. Fishermen haven't been able to fish for 15 months. Now that they can start fishing again, we want them to do their best. Now that they can start fishing again, we want them to do their best and will support them and will support them spokespersons for a local fisheries association say the fishermen hope to ship their next catch to tokyo and other large cities if they get a good response the fishermen hope to ship their next catch to tokyo and other large cities People living in an area just north of Tokyo are also hoping to overcome the problems they've faced because of radioactive contamination. Saitama Prefecture is famous for its green tea, but the Fukushima fallout hurts sales. So local assembly members launched a new public relations effort to turn things around. They're distributing packs of freshly picked leaves to train commuters at a station in the city of Iruma. Sales of the local variety of tea known as Sayama plunged last year after tests detected levels of radioactive cesium, cesium exceeding official standards. Inspectors visited all of the prefecture's tea factories after this year's late spring harvest, and this time they found cesium levels were below the safety threshold. Officials in four of Saitama's municipalities are participating in this drive to promote the local specialty. The first international research project on longevity has been launched in five countries with high life expectancy rates. Experts from Japan, France, Denmark, Sweden and Switzerland are carrying out the work. They aim to find the reason behind the longevity. 250 people who will turn 100 this year will be interviewed in each country about their health and lifestyle. Blood samples will also be taken for genetic analysis. The research in Japan is being carried out in Tokyo, Okinawa, and three other prefectures. Researchers started visiting the participants at their homes in Tokyo this month. 
They interviewed the centenarians and their family members about their health and tested their capacity for exercise and memory. Professor Yasuhiko Saito of the Nihon University Graduate School is taking part in the project. It is a meaningful study to find out how well they maintain their longevity and health. Professor Saito says the number of people aged 100 or older will continue to rise. Japan's prime minister is getting ready for a crucial vote on a key part of his plan to cover his country's rising social security costs. Yoshiko Noda and other politicians vote Tuesday on a controversial bill to double the consumption tax. He staked his political career on passing the legislation during his parliamentary session. Noda's ruling Democratic Party and two main opposition parties, the Liberal Democrats and New Komeito, agreed to put eight bills to a vote in the lower house. One of them would double the 5% sales tax by 2015. The prime minister says Japan needs the revenue to finance its deficit and pay for its aging society. Noda has called the for party unity on the issue, but the legislation is strongly contested from within the DPJ. Some members are threatening to leave the party if the bill is adopted. They include political heavyweight Ichiro Ozawa.
We have waited, have waited for so long for somebody to listen to us. When the mainstream press and the government says nobody could have predicted this, they're lying through their fucking teeth. <laughs> 